What's up everyone, Saints fan back again with another episode of Fashion Friday. Today we have some awesome outfits that you guys submitted over on Twitter with the hashtag SaintsFF. So if you have another outfit you want to submit for next week's episode, then that's all you got to do. Now, hopping in from Charles. This one's really cool because it's, well, it's called the Forest Ranger, but it's, it's not, I guess, really a military style. Like, it doesn't have a bunch of camo on it, so it doesn't shout military. But this one... To make it, you can see you need the cobble boonie up, the cobble ski mask, the mono outlaw goggles, the khaki uh, service shirt, the gloves, the worn chocolate padded uh, pants, leather pants there, and the moss tech boots. And I really like the way those colors blend together. The green, that like, you know, darkish looking green with the brown. I just think it looks really cool. The head part, you might want to eh, change it up a little bit, but the, the body part, I really, really like. Next one from Super Party Bacon is another one that's kind of... I don't know. It's less like in your face, I guess. This one, I believe, is called the Splinter Beret. And you can see to make this one, you're going to need the Fleck Tarn Changed to Splinter Cargo. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Uh, the Splinter Armored Gloves, the Sand Sleeveless, the shirt, the, the hoodie there, the Silver Superior Glasses, and actually, I guess the Splinter Beret. I think that's not even, that's the freaking name of the hat, dummy. That's not the name of the outfit. I guess there's no name of the outfit, but it looks really cool. And I like it, how you paired it with that, the Mesa there. That looks really cool. But I like the, sort of, on, you know, on the same lines as the first one. It, it kind of is just a little bit different. You know, it's got the, some of the camo there on the hat and, and on the, the legs. But the, the sleeveless hoodie sort of makes this really cool. Here we have three from Thesis Badger. Don't know what the names are, but you can see they look really cool. I actually kind of like all of them. Not a huge fan of the one with the armored bulletproof helmet, just because I'm not a huge fan of the bulletproof helmet. But you can see we have this first one with the beanie there and that skull mask with all the other sort of digital style looking camo. Looks pretty cool. Here we have one. Unfortunately, you're going to need to do the glitch to get the, the orange garbage man suit which i don't i thought they patched that i don't know I, I don't know how you guys are doing that stuff but yeah I, I like it the the orange the green and the white and the black sort of really go nicely together and then here we have the third one the one with the bulletproof this one looks kind of scary man i can't lie you got the the evil looking eyes in the skull mask with the bulletproof helmet and then the the pretty heavy armor there with the the camo the desert camo on the pants moving on we have one from bitch slap <laughs> great name this one is called the Military Biker, and this one's kind of cool. On the same lines as the one we had last week, you can see everything you need to make it. You need the Midnight Beret, the Silver Eyewear, the Charcoal Patch Denim Biker uh, top with the Snitches Get Stitches t-shirt. The bottom, you need light woodland cargo and worn black slack boots, and then light woodland armored gloves. Really, really cool mix between military stuff and biker stuff. And, you know, if you're using the, well, I guess the oppressor is not technically biker related i know it is a bike obviously but it's not you know obviously you can see in this picture that bike that he's using is more biker ish than the oppressor but still i think it's a really solid outfit here we have one from michael called the woodland ghost recon and it's another sort of different take on all the military outfits this one has that light woodland defender vest which i don't think we've actually used any of those vests the new vest that came with the gun running but you can see it does match the pants there and you have some of the other accessories head obviously you can sort of switch up depending you know if you don't want that mask obviously you don't need to put it but i kind of like it with those those orange it looks like goggles there or the the glasses but all in all i think it's another solid looking military style outfit here we have one from eric to switch it up this is i guess a biker outfit this one is called the cyberpunk and i really love these pictures first off you can see what you need to make it there on the left the gray headphones the rebreather the black outlaw goggles the white combat shirt the parachute if you want the black low crotch jeans the black studded sneakers and the gray digital armored gloves and you can see these pictures i love the colors like those look really cool and i i just like the way this outfit sort of looks at nighttime you get the, the you know just the pretty pretty simple color scheme the whites with the you know the jeans there so pretty awesome outfit from eric here we have one from omar called the gun running rock star king pin and you're gonna need the duffel bag for this one but if you want to rock a really cool outfit while you're gun running this might be a, a nice one that you use you got some you know green with black color scheme going on there then some female outfits we have this one from luke called the masked scout to make it you're gonna need to put the gray 
digital beret with the gray digital bigness ski mask, the black scarf, the black parachute, the gray digital rolled tee, the purple cargo pants, the Dawn Raid one, so you're gonna have to do that glitch to get it, and the black tactical boots. Although I will say you might, you know, can get away with switching those purple cargo pants with something a little bit different if you wanna, if you don't wanna do that glitch, but I think it looks really cool. The top part looks really cool. Here we have one from King Gaming called the Red and Black Killer. And it's another outfit that, you know, doesn't really require much. There's not much really to that outfit. And then some extra ones here we have. This one is the Jay-Z. And I really like the way this one came out. If you have a, you know, a black character and you want to sort of dress like Jay-Z, you can actually get it pretty spot on, at least going off of the picture this guy put in the middle there but i really like that one you can see everything need on the right here we have two from logan hero pro one called the ghillie suit you can see it's all camoed out there and then this next one is called splinter rng this is actually a really solid one i really like the way this one looks it's definitely one of my uh it's one of the better heavy outfits i think in my opinion using i believe the bodyguard glitch but that one looks really cool and then the final one that we'll end on is this one which is a really awesome sort of street racer style outfit that actually goes perfectly with that livery on the specter <laughs> i love those colors like the super bright colors and sort of match it with the uh you know the simple you know black pants there i think that looks really really cool so if you rock that livery on your specter then you might want to you know have that outfit if you're if you're driving around in it but that is it thank you all for watching as always there'll be a few extra here at the end but thank you all if you have your own outfit you want to submit just go on twitter and tweet it with the hashtag saintsff but thank you all and as always i'll see you guys in the next one